Hello everybody, E here. I got a package. Alright, so uh, today is a little different. This is a book review, not an unboxing, but it's both, kind of. So uh, the author of this book uh, was extremely cool and uh, allowed me to buy a signed copy off of him. Don't go harassing him for one. Uh, I just want to tell y'all that he was nice enough to... It's not like he, he didn't send me one, you know, just, just because. Um, I actually paid for it, so don't go harassing him. I want a signed copy, a free signed copy of your book. That is nice. So today we are talking about Hunter Shea's Creature. Yeah. Um, this is the hardcover from Flame Tree Press. A little quick little note on Flame Tree Press. I am extremely uh, impressed with the way they their first six books came out. They had audio, hardcover, and paperback all at the same time, um, which is just fantastic. I don't know of another small press that has that has done that yet. It may be out there. I know uh, Dark Fuse did hardcovers also, um, but I don't think they did paperbacks at the same time. Uh, with uh, Flame Tree Press, they did all three uh, formats all at the same time. Very impressive. Uh, but this one especially, I want to talk about this one. I gave the book a chance. I'm a big fan of Hunter's. Um, there, of course, there's been some of his books that I, I didn't, you know, fanboy over, but most of his stuff is terrific. The Mail, Over Ma Mail Order Massacres, two, two of the ones, the first one he released and the third one he released are terrific. The one in the center was eh, but that's just my own personal taste. Um, hit Jurassic Florida, uh, We Are Always Watching is another fantastic one. Uh, let's see here, what else can I talk about? Um, there is... There's one more that I read. Uh, I can't remember the name of right now. I'm sorry, uh, but I can't remember the name of it. I read so many books, everything's just kind of a blur sometimes. But this one's going to stay with me for a while. Anytime that I fanboy this hard over a book, I go and I check out the negative reviews because obviously I've missed something. Obviously there's a problem. The majority of the reviews for this book are positive. The only negative review I could find mentioned that they were tired of all of the uh, the continuous uh, pain talk or how many ways can you describe somebody being in pain I'm gonna tackle that right now because Hunter did a fantastic fantastic job with that aspect of it as someone who's been suffering with chronic pain and uh, due to one injury back in 2005 I have dealt for the past 13 years with constant constant pain. I'm always um, either, I either have my TENS unit on or I have my, um, or I have pain medicine coursing through my system. I always have naproxen in my system, a Tylenol, everything. I'm always trying to stay on top of it so it doesn't get too bad and I end up in the emergency room needing a shot um, or my doctor's office, one or the other. Um, the way Hunter describes the pain, I don't know about the the affliction that the main character is suffering from, but I know from personal experience, Hunter nailed it. So I don't know, Hunter, if you go through, if, if you're watching this, if you ever watch this, I don't know if you watch reviews, but, um, or even read reviews, but you, you, you got it right. So I don't know if you went, if you go through the same kind of thing also, I don't know, but you nailed the aspect. I don't know about the medical side of what she was suffering from, but I do know that from a pain sufferer standpoint you nailed what it feels like and it was painful to read um, and yes it was a bit repetitive and monotonous at points but that's what we suffer with that's the kind of repetition you know we wake up in pain we go to bed in pain um, it's pain throughout the day and as far as how he described the pain I, I thought he did a damn good job for a book that is hang on here this is a beautiful book by the way 275 pages long um, and almost every single page, um, I would imagine, I, I read this in audiobook, we'll get to that in a second. Um, I would imagine every single page has something to do with the main character's pain. Um, if it's not mentioned by the main character, it's mentioned about the main character. Um, and I also appreciated the way that the people around her reacted to her pain. Um, especially the, the fever sections where... Uh, they question her sanity. There's been some times when I've been in so much pain um, that my body fought, fought back and raised the, the temperature of my body. Um, it's just a stress reaction, really. Um, and I was talking out of my head. Um, so I understand 
all the points. It was very realistic in that regard. As far as the audiobook versus the written, um, I can't say how well the book was edited. Uh, nobody has mentioned typos or anything like that. So, I don't know, um, but the, uh, the audiobook was terrific. I listened to it. I enjoyed the narration. Um, it was somewhere in between, uh, some, the, the quality was somewhere in between indie and, you know, legacy press. So I guess it would be right there, right in the middle with small press. There were a few hiccups, a few points where maybe the voices didn't match from the last time, but I lost myself in the story. I think that's the most important thing that you can say about a story is whether or not you were able to escape. And I, myself, was able to escape. Um, I am very impressed, and this is like the fourth time I've said impressed, with uh, Hunter's maturity in this novel. Now, if you guys have read any of Hunter's other stuff, other than We Are Always Watching, that was a great uh, non, uh, I think, B-rated kind of thing, because he does B-rated very well. He does monster and creature features, stuff like that. He's probably the best working in the business right now. Um, but <laughs> the, uh, the, oh, the, ma the, the Swamp Massacre one, I read that one also. I can't remember the name of that one, I'm sorry. I apologize, Hunter, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Uh, but he does those things really well, but you would, you would, you might think that that's all he's capable of. Um, and it'd be unfortunate if you thought that, because, and I've, I've read some reviews that have said as much, but I don't agree with that. And books like this are the reason why I don't agree with that. He spends the first, what, two-thirds of the book just talking about the characters. Um, it's almost Stephen King-esque in that regard, where he builds up the characters, he builds up your appreciation for them, and maybe even makes you love them, care for them, and then bad things start happening. Speaking of those bad things, boy, this one threw me for a loop. Um, I was not expecting, I was expecting a monster, of course. I was not expecting the monster I got, um, and I certainly wasn't expecting the, uh, the, the, the twist between, um, well, I, I'm not going to say a, a word. There's a bit of a twist at the end regarding uh, the creature's origins and th that kind of thing that I was like, I've only heard or read or seen something like that one time, and unfortunately I can't talk about that, because if I talk about that, then what, what, I, what, I've, what I've seen before that's like this, it's going to spoil the whole book for you. It's just something I don't see very often, and I appreciated it. Um, it was a very original take on a very overused trope, and I think that was awesome. I really don't have anything negative to say about the book. The only thing that I'm not 100% positive on is the actual, you know, how the, the formatting and all that stuff of the book. But that, I mean, when you get lost in the story like that, usually that stuff just kind of fades away. I know some of you take a bigger, you know, that's a bigger part of the reading experience for you, but I did audiobooks so I can't talk about it. It could be perfect, you know. The, uh, as soon as I was done with this book, I contacted Hunter on Twitter and I said, yo man, you, you, you need to send me... Um, a, a signed copy. I don't care what uh, what I have to pay for it. Ooh, I got a nice little bookmark too. I haven't even opened it yet. As you can see, I just opened up the package. But uh, yeah. So yeah. E. K keep kicking ass and taking names, Hunter. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Hunter. I appreciate it, man. If you ever watch this. Um, but I tried to be as unbiased as possible with with this review. I am, I, I was a little standoffish whether or not I was going to go into too much detail here because uh, Hunter reviewed The Bedding of Boys uh, and he loved it. He gave it five stars and that's one of my books. So I'm always a little tentative uh, and hesitant to review works. But I was a Hunter Fa Shea fan long before he ever read me. I have reviews up both to the positive and to the negative for Hunter's books. So if you want to go check those out, you can always go to my Goodreads and pick those out. I really love this one. There is no bias as far as review swapping or any of that nonsense. Um, there is a little bit of bias because he is a he is a favorite author of mine in that regard because he does what he does so damn well. Um, and it's nice to read a more uh, character-oriented piece from him um, then let's say something like the Middle Order Massacre, which is simply there for you to have fun with. Um, and like I said, the first one, the one about the uh, the 
<laughs> this is this, not sea creatures, but the one about the uh, the oh I can't remember what they're called. They 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 they, they do it in the and in, in like the back of comic books. Anyways, and then uh, the one in the middle was the one about the uh, the X-ray specs. It wasn't all to my liking. And then the last one that he did was really good. Sorry, I can't remember any of these titles, <laughs> but I promise you that Hunter Shea's work is definitely worth checking out, especially if you like B-rated uh, creature features. If you are more of the mindset that you like a more mature experience, then I would definitely say look up We Are Always Watching or Creature. His, uh, actually, it's not his newest release. He's got another one out now called The Devil's Fingers that I didn't even know about. So I just saw that on Twitter today. This has been a long and rambling review. Basically, guys, I'm giving the book five stars. I hope that you guys read it. I hope you give it a chance. And I hope you have the same experience I did. But if you didn't, that's fine. Let's discuss it down there in the comments below. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.